I'll let you go first. All right. <laughs> it's crazy how much it tastes like sushi. I got my buddy Mark Williams from Swine Life Barbecue back with me here at the Smokehouse. He recently went up and won a wing competition and he did it with the wing that's way out the box. <laughs> We're gonna make a sushi inspired wing. It's gonna be a crunchy skin on that chicken. All the umami flavors you get in sushi, all my favorite bites. I love wings any way you can get them. I'm excited to try these. Mark, Get the cookie. Oh, this is just a family pack of wings. I went ahead and split the drummies and flats because that's how I like cooking them. And then we're just going to go light with the cornstarch. It ain't got to go real heavy. So what's the cornstarch for, Mark? Man, it's going to pull some of that moisture out and then it's going to add just a little bit, almost like a breading texture without actually having that heavy breading texture. You just want them to get a little bit of muddy. You know, you don't want a ton of cornstarch. So to start the sauce, we got two sticks of Kerrygold butter. I only got to have the best butter. Salted or unsalted? Salted. Yeah, right. ain't got time for no unsalted butter. And then we're gonna do the whole jar right here. This is a four ounce jar. Next up, ponzu sauce, three tablespoons. Soy sauce here, gonna do three tablespoons. And then that old green demon right there, that wasabi. We're gonna do probably about a tablespoon and a half. Again, if you want more heat, this is where you get it from right here. Burn you right off the front, all up the All nose. in your nasal, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So that's it for this part. All we gotta do now is get these wings fried, dip them in the sauce, get them topped, and they'll be ready to dry. So our grease has got a 355. We're gonna get these wings dropped in here. We're gonna separate them, do flats in one basket, it's drummies in the other, because they cook at two different rates. So we're looking for these wings to start to float. They're usually gonna be about 190 degrees when they do so. Get them out of the grease, let them cool for just a minute while your grease gets back to the temp because we're going to double fry these wings. That's what helps get this skin super crispy. Once your grease gets good and hot again, drop them back in the grease and let them go about 30 to 45 seconds. Be careful, they might splatter and pop, but that's what you want because that's cooking that moisture off. Get you a good crispy wing. Wings are fried, it's time to get them in the sauce. But the easiest way I do it is I take some gloves and you just want to toss them around because this sauce is kind of not as thick as you think it would be. We got to put the toppings on there now. We got some sushi sauce, which I think is basically just eel sauce. All we're going to do is drizzle over the top of all of them. So we're just doing this as a garnish kind of topping like they would sushi right before yeah. they bring it out to the table. And then we got to have that sriracha mayo. And then for a little crunch, we got everything bagel seasoning. So that's kind of your sesame seed element. Last ingredient, Malcolm, a little bit of chopped chives. You gotta have that green pop. You gotta make it look like sushi. All right, so I'm just gonna pick me one out here. I hate to mess them up, man. These are just so pretty. You can see both sauces on it. We got the pop of the little everything bagel. First bite of a sushi, oh, look, that's cooked perfect. Sushi, yeah. sushi inspired wing. Mm. I'm gonna let you go first. All right. <laughs> it's crazy how much it tastes like sushi. It reminds me of one of those tempura fried rolls where they top it with all the good stuff. You get the chicken in it. It's, man, this is a rich wing. It's got a lot you of- You ain't gonna eat many of them. They good eats. Dude, that's fantastic. Mark, I'm gonna tell you, man, it looks like a sushi. It's got all the elements of it, but it's a wing. Man, it's unique and you got a winner. I know, I know why you won the wing contest. I'm anxious to see how this does next time you compete with it. Hey, thanks for coming on here and sharing this recipe with me today, Mark. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.